Alright guys, Brent here. Hey, how you doing? I am at Seal Rocks Lighthouse. The lighthouse is behind the camera over there and I got down here and I was looking for my shot and I found it. Now this is a problem that I see a lot of uh, landscape photographers make, especially people that have just got a new camera and they're out there shooting. Often they don't have the one point of interest in the image. They've got many points of interest, two, three, four, dozens, and it kind of takes away from the, the landscape image. You want to have one point of interest, one main point of interest if you can, because that just makes the image so much more powerful. And I found it down here. I've got this single monolith rock down here, and the waves are crashing against it. Uh, oh, a couple of dolphins just behind. Did you see those? I think they were. And, um, and I want to try and isolate this single rock as my main point of interest down here. A couple of people walking past it now in front of it. Because for me, that just makes the image so much more magical. So I've used the one piece of equipment that I love. Well, I've got, there's two that I actually love. Uh, two filters that I love a uh, circular polarizing filter and a 10-stop neutral density filter. Now, I know, I know that sounds pretty complex if you the first time in doing photography, but today we're just going to look at the 10-stop neutral density filter. So that's what this is. This piece of glass over here is a 10-stop ND filter. And it's basically the same as welding goggles. You know, when you're welding and you've got really bright lights in front of you and you don't want to damage your eyes, you get one of these. You can look at the sun through one of these and it won't damage your eyes. So what it's doing is it's allowing me to photograph this rock with the waves moving around it in a very long exposure image. So I'm shooting it at 30 seconds. So the shutter is open for 30 seconds. Not a, not a 30th of a second, 30 seconds. And it's a bright sunny day. This allows me to do it because it, it darkens the light coming into the uh, lens and into the sensor and the reason I'm doing a 30 second long exposure image is to isolate that rock even more. So have a look at the images. I've got a couple that I shot without the 10 stop neutral density filter on it. Have a look at those and then have a look at these that I shot with the 10 stop neutral density filter on them. They just look so much better, so much more magical, so much more mystical. I just love it and you know there's something about this place and I was talking earlier with my friends, Kyle, who's behind the camera now, and Johnny flying the drone over there, that it's, it's all about energy for me and feeling when it comes to photography. I want to, I want to feel good about what I'm doing. I want, I'm creating. I've got to feel the creative energy flowing to actually get out there and shoot. And that's what I've got now. We went for a surf earlier today. I've immersed myself in nature. And I, I'm just feeling it right now. And, and that's why I've chosen this image to shoot because to me, this symbolizes the, the feeling of relaxedness, of tranquility, uh, just being around nature with no one around you. I mean, it's just, this place is amazing. Seal Rocks and the, the lighthouse behind there and uh, Treachery Beach and, uh, you know, the, the other beaches around you. It's just beautiful. So there it is, guys. That's my lesson. The one piece of equipment, if you want to isolate subjects using shutter speed, 10 stop neutral density filter. I know that can be quite expensive, but it's probably the second most important filter you can ever get. And the most important filter is the circular polarizing filter for shooting um, water or uh, sky scenes where you can take out the glare from the water. And I've actually got that on, front here, on the front here too, but today's lesson is all about this one. 10 stop ND filter. Yeah. 